Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Real quick, this makeup is ideal for photography, filming, or something where you just want to look extra because you need to do more makeup when you're on camera, when you know you're going to be taking pictures, or just when you feel down or sad, you can do this makeup look and you're like, yep, I can get it anytime I want. I mean this makeup look. Don't get it twisted. I'm also gonna tell you guys some tips and tricks. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my face. And don't forget to click the like button or subscribe for more videos. So, if you guys wanna learn how to go from zero to a hundred real quick, then keep watching this video. Bye. Real fucking quick, nigga. Fuck being on some chill shit. Now first things first, because my natural hair is blacker than the pit of the ocean, I will use this John Frieda powder for your roots. I'm going to see if this works and try and blend in my roots. This didn't do much, but I will keep it and maybe use it as an eyeshadow. I'm going to prime my face with Maybelline's Baby Skin Primer because a primer is supposed to make your makeup stay on for longer, which I think it does. So next thing, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is my new favorite foundation. It really just sticks on, doesn't make me as oily. I'm gonna put it on the butt of my beauty blender. I don't know if this does anything, but I've seen people on Instagram doing it, so I'm gonna do a tip. When choosing a foundation color, make sure that it's not at all close to your natural skin color because this is the foundation of the person we're gonna become. Okay, this method uses up a lot of foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna use a brush. So now that we look like our skin has changed color, now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use my trusty, sleek eyebrow pencil in the color light. My natural eyebrows are black, but I bleached them. Now, because they came out heinously uneven, I'm gonna use some concealer to manipulate the brow like a bad relationship. So, uh, so now that the eyebrows are done, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Now the eye look is going to be ideal for people that have half a day to get ready. This is one of those makeup looks where, or your boyfriend is like, <laughs> it's eight o'clock. Our reservations were at seven thirty, and you're like, <laughs> um, do you see my crease? It's cut. Oh, I'm using Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm gonna put it all on my eyes because it's an eye base. Logistics. I said this, I will always say this, and I'm saying it now, set your eye base with a powder. I'm just using a face powder by MAC. It doesn't really have to be MAC. It could be, it could be any brand. I'm just using padding motions. I'm not really swi swiping, because if I swipe, it's gonna disturb the product that's underneath. So just dab. Yeah. My first eyeshadow is from the Makeup Revolution Acid Brights Palette. Really good palette, super pigmented and cheap-ish. So I'm gonna use this orange. Oh, I hate doing that. I'm gonna concentrate this in my crease.
I'm gonna use my The Nudes palette. I'm gonna use this dark brown. I'm going to color in basically the outer half of my lid space. I'm gonna take a smudge brush. And I'm ever so slightly going to blend out these edges. Now I'm gonna take this gold color and put it on the rest of my eye eyelid space. Now that I did that, I'm going to apply some glitter. Then I'm also going back to that original bright orange we used and putting it above this glitter. I'm also going to accentuate my inner corner because this is going to balance out this winging out. I'm going to use this dark brown from the Maybelline. And again with the bright orange color, I'm going to take that my, on my lower lashes. And I will also put glitter on my lower lashes. Now, just kind of as a final touch, I will put MAC Nylon into my very inner corners and under my brows. And I also took some matte black eyeshadow and concentrated this on my upper crease. So now that our eyes are pretty much done, we're going to do contour and highlight. Instagram style. What we're going to do is basically turn our bone structure into a different bone structure using contour kits, both cream and powder, because I've never done both before, and I thought, let's have our first time be together. So I'm using this NYX Conceal Correct Contour Camouflage Palette in the color Light, and I'm going to take this brown color. Placing this brown contour color on the sides of my nose, my forehead, my cheekbone, and my double chin, and I will blend it out with the original Beauty Blender that we used to put on our foundation in the beginning. With the more yellowy one, I'm going to put it everywhere where I want my cheekbones to stand out, the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, anywhere where we didn't put any contour down. I did that I'm going to lightly set my whole face with max golden medium powder when we put the powder contour on top it's not going to cling to it so it'll be very easy to blend out I the next one I'm so excited so let's try it first I'm gonna take this one this and I'm gonna take this brown contour color and put it in the exact places where I put the cream contour I'm going to lightly bake my under eyes. Baking basically means when you pack on a lot of powder to an area of the face, that area essentially can't breathe and it in turn cooks or bakes the makeup that's trapped in between the powder and the skin. So that's why they call it baking. It really, really, really makes it stay. So I'm gonna cook under my eyes. And then I really, really packed on this powder, so I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes before I swipe it away. And until then, I'm gonna bronze a little bit more because 
hello this is a lot of makeup so I'm gonna use a big bronzer just kind of on my cheek maybe like a little bit on my forehead just really subtly Now I'm going to just sort of dust away some of this powder, blend it in with my skin. Now I'm going to pop on some falsies. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I'll be right back. I'm going to do my lips and no, my hair didn't grow. First of all, I'm going to line my lips. And I'm overlining my lips because I like the look of a fuller lip. I'm using MUA Luxie Velvet Lip Lacquer in Tranquility and Passion. For first, I'm using Poison. And then I'm gonna put Tranquility kind of in the center. I'm also going to use a highlighter. This is actually an eyeshadow from Bare Minerals. It's called Queen Phyllis, and I'm gonna use it as my highlight. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Real fucking quick, nigga. Real fucking quick.